Hello fellow designers and crafters. Welcome to the second installment of our series on creating a stunning 3D layered mandala. In this video, we'll dive into the exciting world of Adobe Illustrator as I demonstrate how to transform the sketch from our previous video into a 3D layered vector mandala cut file. Let's get started. To begin, I've created an 8x8 inch document in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I'll proceed by placing the mandala sketch onto the canvas, using it as a helpful guide for the design process. To ensure that the sketch matches the size of the document, we can resize it accordingly. Additionally, we can make use of a handy feature by double-clicking on the layer and selecting template. This allows us to lock the sketch layer while making it transparent, giving us the ability to view our design while still having a visual reference of the underlying sketch. To achieve a clearer view of the sketch while working on the vector mandala, I lower the image opacity to around 35%. This helps to reduce the intensity of the sketch. Additionally, I create a new layer where I'll start building the vector mandala design. Using the rectangle tool I create a square with dimensions of 8 by 8 inches, matching the size of our document. This square will serve as the top layer of our mandala design. It's important to begin with the top layer, and then duplicate it to continue designing the subsequent layers. This approach ensures that each layer has a base that can fit seamlessly onto the layer beneath it once the mandala is cut. This makes stacking the layers much easier and more convenient. To create variations in size for our square, we can utilize the offset path function. By selecting the square and adjusting the values using the up and down arrows, we can make a larger or smaller copy of it. Next, I select both rectangles and click the minus front option in the Pathfinder panel. This operation cuts the smaller square and leaves us with a frame-like shape. Throughout the video, you'll notice that I swiftly switch between stroke and fill colors. To accomplish this, I simply press Shift plus X, which swaps the current fill and stroke colors. In the next step, I utilize the Mirror Me plugin from Astute Graphics. This handy tool enables us to create a portion of the design and instantly repeat it around. Given that our document size is 8 by 8 inches, I set the values for both the X and Y axes to half of that, which is 4. Additionally, I prefer working with a 90 degree angle, as it allows me to draw on the top left part of the canvas and have the design automatically repeated around. From this point onwards, my focus is primarily on referencing the sketch. Using the pen tool, I carefully draw the shapes, closely following the lines and curves of the sketch. After creating each shape, I utilize the Pathfinder tool to unite them, combining them into a single cohesive design. This process allows me to gradually bring the mandala to life, shape by shape, and create a harmonious whole. After finishing each layer, I duplicate it, lock the top one, and continue adding designs to that second layer. Then I unite the shapes with the Pathfinder. Using the Mirror Me plugin once again, I create the second layer of the mandala. This layer is quite intricate and serves as a crucial component of the overall design. To maintain viewer engagement, I'll showcase certain parts at normal speed while speeding up others by 3x to prevent monotony. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to join my Facebook group called Pixaroma Community. Starting with simple designs, such as a basic flower with two to three layers, can be a great way to get acquainted with the process. As you become more comfortable, you can gradually explore more complex designs. The pen tool in Illustrator allows you to create any shape you desire, and the Pathfinder tool enables you to add or subtract shapes as needed. Additionally, while the Mirror Me plugin is free, I also use VectorScribe to streamline the shapes and remove unnecessary points. However, please note that VectorScribe is not a free tool. I've been using Illustrator since 2007, so mastering it takes time and practice. Remember, if you have any questions or need further guidance, don't hesitate to ask in my Facebook group. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the process while I add some music to enhance the overall experience.
If you enjoy this type of content, I kindly ask for your support by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to export the files in various formats, including SVG, DXF, and PDF. These formats are compatible with popular cutting machines like Cricut, Silhouette, Glowforge, and other laser machines. By providing guidance on file exporting, I aim to help you seamlessly transfer your mandala designs to your preferred cutting machine for further crafting endeavors.